So today I'm going to cast a follow rest for my lays, just like this one here, and it's called a follow rest because it actually follows along as you move the carriage. There's also a steady rest, which uh, looks like this, and it sits on the bed which does not move. That is to support longer pieces. So today I'm going to make this one here. The first thing I'm going to do is heat up my furnace. Here is the burner that I made. All it is is a reducer on this end, one on that end, and a pipe in between. You can see there's nothing fancy in there. The, the gas line comes in. There's a tiny little hole right there that points to the front. And that is my burner. The furnace itself is just an old drum that I lined with fire clay and some insulating properties. So here's uh, the layer of vermiculite right here. It's really just mica. And then this is the fire clay. And here's my crucible. And uh, two of the old ones that I made, I forgot to make them a little bit longer. For my lathe, I need an extra inch on this end here. That's why I'm going to remelt these and build two new ones. The last thing I'm going to need is some aluminum. And here I made a whole bunch of ingots with my ingot mold. I'm going to put those in fire up the furnace and usually what I do is I'm act I actually hold the uh, burner right against the aluminum ingots for the first maybe five minutes or so um, I find that it heats up quicker and then I reposition the burner to where it normally sits and I find that one melts the aluminum quite a bit quicker because the ingots are you know they're fairly big um, there's a, a lot of solid aluminum right there. And if I point the burner directly to it, as opposed to heating up the air around it, uh, it does work a lot better. So I'm going to set up the camera, and I'm going to load up the, uh, the ingots and heat up the furnace. While that is uh, burning, I'm going to start the mold. Here's my flask, and here's the, the original. I find that a drywall spatula works really well. And here are some painter's tools, a piece of copper pipe, and my rammer.
section over here, I have to cut an extra inch out, but I couldn't do it before, obviously. Um, and then I'm gonna have to do the same thing over here, just a tiny little indent, about an inch.